Okay, let's talk about the GMAT and specifically the mathematics component to that exam. If you're watching this video, I assume already you know what the GMAT is um, because if you're interested in the GMAT, that means that you are uh, you have a college degree and you're looking to go into business school, maybe get your MBA, um, or you're just finishing up um, your bachelor's and again, looking to do your MBA. So congratulations, or wherever you might be. Um, uh, welcome to the video and what I want to do is give you some uh, useful information on the mathematics uh, component to the GMAT. Now my background is I'm a math teacher so obviously I have my degree so I taught from sixth grade through college but I also have an advanced degree so I know all about uh, um, the GRE. Um, I didn't have to take the GMAT because that's for business school but with this being said I want to kind of give you some helpful advice uh, for GMAT uh, mathematics but I want to do something even beyond there. I want to give you some extra emphasis of the importance of mathematics, not just for the GMAT, but in business. So I very well could be uh, telling you something you already know, but that's okay. I, well, you, uh, you know, it, there might be someone out there who doesn't know the importance of what I'm going to be talking about. So um, anyways, with that being said, let's get right to it. Uh, now, before we even get uh, started, if you're struggling, I just want to get this out here. If you're struggling with GMAT, math and you know you didn't do too well in college uh, or high school with mathematics I do offer a, a full um, comprehensive math course if you like my teacher style I'll leave the link in the description uh, of this video also I have literally have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel that you can that would definitely benefit you for the GMAT so with that being said let's get to it so the things you need to know for the GMAT or effectively let's let's use high school um, as an example, algebra two and geometry. If you if you really um, know these two uh, courses, algebra two and, ge and high school level geometry, you should do very well uh, on the GMAT. Now, this is the fundamental mathematics that you need to know. Now, you still need to go get yourself a, a test test guide and and do practice tests and understand the test strategies, all that kind of good stuff. But you can't do any of that until you have a strong fundamental mathematics background. So this would be the, um, I think, an appropriate level. You don't need to go learn calculus or do advanced trigonometry, nothing like that, but you definitely need to know these two courses very well. Um, now this would be pretty much tantamount uh, to college algebra. So if some of you are out there took college algebra, um, it's, well, college algebra is kind of like algebra 2 at the at the basic college level um, but you do you want to know some geometry as well so these are the two kind of main focuses you don't want to overstudy you don't want to be like well I took you know um, calculus so I need to go do you know review um, uh, how to do integration and derivatives and stuff that's too advanced you know you may need that like later in your your program okay that's that, I'm not saying that you very well could be doing calculus in in your in your business program. Um, that's a different topic. Right now, we're just talking about the GMAT, right? So you want to get the best scores you can, so you can have the best opportunities uh, for schools that you want. But let me just digress here uh, for a moment and tell you something that you may already know. One of the hottest fields right now is something called data science. Okay, this is this is like on fire okay they just can't find enough of these people now why is that the case well what's going on uh, and this has been going on for a long time is what data data is growing exponentially for it's well in our own personal lives in the world but companies are just the massive collectors of data okay because a lot of the stuff is conducted on collected through you know, internet uh, applications and, you know, sales data, whatever the case is, there's just a tremendous amount of data. This is going to be your tool. Your tool is data mining, right? Trying to figure things out. So if you're in business and you're going for an advanced business degree, you're going to, you're going to definitely, you know, primarily probably be working uh, with data. So if you don't have a, a math, you know, math degree, or I don't know your background, you probably maybe you have a business degree or a finance degree, you already have a lot of math, uh, mathematics behind you. But the future is just going to get more and more and more um, analytical, 
critical thinking, you know, working with numbers, all that kind of stuff. And you need to really have super strong fundamentals, you know, with functions and, and you know, basic uh, probabilities, statistics, and all that kind of stuff. Of course, if you're going to a graduate um, program, you're going to be learning even way beyond, beyond that. Uh, so, but here's the thing. Math has never been so, uh, the importance of math has just never been so, you know, so high. And it's just getting more and more critical. Matter of fact, I just um, read an article, the date of this video, I'm making this video in August 2019, um, about Goldman Sachs um, was, uh, the, the article, the premise of the article was that they're not really looking so much for new traders for, you know, Wall Street. I mean, they're always probably still looking for traders. But they're putting more of an emphasis on coders, talented people who can code and write code and those type of things. So you can kind of see where the future is going. It's going to those people who have high tech skills, uh, people who can code, people who can work with data. Um, and, you know, these people, we just can't get, they just can't get enough of these people, highly qualified, highly qualified people. So even if you're not going to be a data scientist, and I'm not promoting that you are, the more you can work with that, the stronger your analytical skills you know you have, the better off you're going to be. So that's my pitch, you know, on why you know math is more important than ever. So if you're going to increase, you know, your your you know your math knowledge or your math aptitude, then you know do it now before you take the GMAT. You know, really make that investment now and and kind of like long-term commitment to um, building up. You know your math knowledge and sticking with it because these skills are perishable so let's go back again real quick um, algebra 2 and geometry so just some basic things that yeah you should be able to do so in algebra 2 or just in algebra high school level algebra uh, you need to be able to solve equations all right solve equations now you're like oh yeah I can solve equations and maybe you're in your brain you're thinking oh 2x plus 3 equals 9 well no, that's like too basic, right? Obviously, you need to be able to solve that, but you know, you need to be able to solve a lots of different type of equations. Equations are, are a big, huge part of algebra. So linear equations, quadratic equations, systems of equations, radical equations, rational equations. I can go on and on and on. Uh, logarithmic equations, exponential equations all these type of things here you know these are skills so you're like oh yeah you know uh, could you solve these right now well you know that's a question for you to answer but likely if you've been away from um, this material you're, you you need to review okay and the best way to review is to do practice problems and then uh, have a teacher you know uh, demonstrate how to do that problem if you didn't get it right that's the best way so with uh, the internet you have that ability you know it's if you talk to people years and years ago that were taken to GMAT you know they really were stuck with a book or maybe they had to find a tutor it got very expensive but today you can really really uh, learn um, the tremendous amount um, online okay so again something like with course like mine could definitely serve you well uh, but these are some of the things that you need to know like an algebra uh, component but let's take a look at some more things in the algebra 2 uh, side of the house um, so solving all these different type of equations is huge powers working with powers and exponents okay that's another big uh, thing functions all right knowing what functions are uh, domain range restrictions all those different type of things extremely important graphing okay and writing the equations of lines so being able to um, find uh, the equation a linear equation to something understanding slope understanding rate of change all that kind of stuff these are all in very important components and I'm, I'm sure I'm missing uh, things here well let me put another thing here matrices okay you need to know basic data concepts, okay? Things like probability, statistics, on a, you know, not the most advanced level, uh, permutations, combinations. Uh, it's a lot to know, okay? A lot to review. Now, you can you can kind of say to yourself, well, you know, I'm just going to quickly review and whatever it is, it is, and I'm going to go and take the GMAT and just hope for the best because I got to do it as part of my program. Yeah, you know what? In my opinion, I don't think that's the smartest strategy. 
buckle down, make a commitment, strengthen your math skills now so you can do well, and then you got momentum going into your uh, particular program. Now, in geometry, you know, you're not going to be doing proofs and stuff like that uh, on your you know, GMAT. It's not, you know, people are always freak out on geometry. Oh, I got to, they'd look back and like prove this, and they got to write these two column proofs and everything else. Now, you're not going to be doing that stuff, but you definitely need to know how to work with uh, parallel lines, transversals, uh, things along these lines, properties of triangles, uh, circles, know what an arc is, sector is, how to find the area of a circle. By the way, let me go back over here to the algebra side too. Percentage, rates and ratios, I mean there's just so much. I'm just kind of like um, um, rates and ratios. Uh, there's just so much, you know, little subtopics that are all, you know, you know, make it out. They're not going to test you on every single one of the, one of these concepts, but you need to be ready for any one of these concepts for sure. Um, so in geometry, you know, working with triangles and qu and quadrilaterals, maybe like a trapezoid, uh, circles, transformations, which is let's say I have uh, let's say a triangle and I want to rotate it, you know, a certain amount of degrees on the xy plane. Um, you got to know how to do that. And so it's, there's a lot involved. And I'm just kind of highlighting a few things uh, here. Similarity, congruency, all this kind of good stuff. So again, you don't need to be, you know, doing uh, advanced integration and all this kind of stuff like this, uh, you know, craziness and stuff like that. That's That's calculus. And if you know that, that's great. There's a lot of you probably already took calculus. You're watching this video, but I, I don't. I would go back and really, you know, even when a calculus students, you're like, oh, you've been doing calculus. Listen, calculus is different. Yeah, you use a lot of your your skills from algebra and geometry in calculus, but they're different skills. You know, I know I have a degree in mathematics. Okay, you can be focused on doing integration and uh, all that kind of stuff like that, derivatives, and you're using a lot of algebra skills, but you're not using all these skills. Okay, so you need to kind of go back at a more basic level, just, you know, refocus your mind and um, and go through it. Listen, I have a degree in mathematics, and if I'm taking a GMAT, I'm reviewing. Now, even if I teach a, a topic, let's say I'm going to teach on quadratic equations. Yes, I know the topic so well because I've been teaching it so many years. But before I was to do a, a lesson or something, you know, I'm going to do a quick review in my mind just to make sure I don't leave anything out. And that's what I suggest that you do as well. Okay, so I'm going to call this a wrap. Um, hopefully, you know you got something out of this video. Uh, if you did, you know I try to give my best advice, you know, uh, uh, to folks. You know, I I do this as a passion. There's such a need for people to to strengthen their math skills, whether they're taking a GMAT, GRE, SAT, ACT, trying to get their high school diploma, etc. There's there's a huge gap you know, in our math education in our country. So anyways, if you got something out of it, I'd definitely appreciate a like. Um, again, if you want uh, to check out my specific uh, course, um, you know, like I was saying here, you know, Algebra 2 and Geometry, it's, you know, you're not going to want to just study these separately. I actually have a GMAT course that has everything combined, you know, together here, Algebra 2 and Geometry. It's extremely comprehensive. So you may want to um, just check it out to see if that's something that you might want to um, take a look at. Uh, so the, the link will be in the description of this video. And again, I literally have hundreds of videos uh, on my YouTube channel that could help you out. But with that being said, leave me some feedback. It's the way I know how to improve. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, I, I try to read as many comments as possible, uh, take questions, gives me ideas for future videos, that type of thing. But um, anyways, thanks for watching. I wish you all the best on the GMAT in your uh, future goals, your career, etc. Um, it's pretty exciting, actually, to see the importance of, of mathematics just, you know, grow and grow and grow. And so uh, I feel like, hey, I want to be a part of it as well and help any, um, uh, anybody out there that needs to strengthen those fundamental math skills. That's what I do. That's what I'm an expert in. But um, I wish you all the best, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.